Fittingly, our trip begins in a storied location. The Golan Heights, scene of some of the most brutal fighting in Israel's history. Here in the northern corner of the country, Israel defended her borders, fighting back Syrian troops and tanks in the bloody Yom Kippur War. Calm now. Israelis are always on edge, always on guard, always ready. It's part of their national character. Everyone wants a piece of this rock, the old city of Jerusalem in Israel. With compulsory military service, seeing teens lugging machine guns around is not uncommon. Signs of war are everywhere. Amidst this atmosphere, an ancient tradition still flourishes, the kibbutz, a kind of communal outpost on contested land. They came here with, with really some sort of a, of a pioneer uh, right. idea in their head to flourish the land and, and, and you know, create something out of, uh, out of nothing. Here, families live and work the land together, almost like a commune in the United States. They consider themselves pioneers, their mission sacred. It's uh, the old Israel um, with the principle of the old uh, world. This is one uh, way. Uh, on the second is uh, people that uh, know how to work and uh, know how to change. How close are they to the Syrians? Look at this UN camp we discovered less than five minutes away. A photojournalist, Ofer Cohen, actually talked his way on to the heavily fortified camp. But when leaving, we ran into or over something nasty, bringing our trip to an abrupt halt. Tire change, we wanted to explore more of the kibbutz, which, though laid back, can get very loud. With all of the playing and smiling faces here near the Syrian border in Israel, it's hard to imagine that this bomb shelter was actually used in the early 70s during the Yom Kippur War. Now, as you'll see, it's a playroom for these kids. What looks like a normal game of duck, duck, goose is just that and more. Remember, we're close to a contested border. This is actually a bomb shelter deep underground. It hardly distracts from their fun. Above ground, residents here realize they're living on land that could be given back to the Syrians at any time. We decided that we are living here uh, uh, like we lived before. But forget for just a moment the heavy world of international politics. There's plenty of fun to be had here on a kibbutz. This is probably one of the best places on the planet to mess around on an ATV. See for yourself. As our visit continued, we were soon reminded of where we were, a part of the world that loves to laugh and smile, but is also always under guard and ready for conflict. In Israel, in high definition, Beno Schmidt Voom, HD News.